This screencast will be a continuation of the previous screencast in which I'm considering the problem of a parabola. And just to remind you, we were asked to compute the tangent and normal vectors as well as the curvature, radius of curvature, and the oscillating circle at a particular point. So we've done the first two parts. We've computed the tangent vector and the normal vector, and we've plotted them uh, on, the, um, on the sketch of the parabola at this point. So what remains to do is to compute the curvature and radius of curvature. In any case, we need the radius of curvature to sketch the oscillating circle. I'll start a new page. Just to remind you that the curvature is the magnitude of the derivative of the tangent vector divided by the derivative of the parameterization along the curve. Anyway, all we have to do is, uh, is plug in. We're interested in the curvature at 1, so we just need these two things, the derivative of the tangent at 1, the magnitude of that, and the magnitude of the derivative of the parameterization at 1. And these are things that we uh, previously computed uh, up above. We've computed the derivative of the tangent. We've done that at 1. We found its magnitude, which is a half. We also have the norm of the um, derivative of the parameterization. And you can just th therefore plug in, and I will just do it. The numerator is 1 half and the denominator is 2 square root of 2. That's to say it's 1 over 4 root 2. I just want to make the general point here, which is that when you go about doing these calculations, if you've gone all the way as far as computing the normal vector, you will have done all the calculations that are required to compute the curvature by a simple division of two quantities that you've already computed. So that will always be the case. Uh, what we're particularly concerned with is the radius of curvature, which is 1 over the curvature. That's uh, 4 square root of 2. So I will just write them in here. We can remember them. The curvature at 1 is equal to, if I can remember, and the radius of curvature, rho of 1, is e therefore equal to simply the reciprocal of that. There we go. So these then, I'll just underline, are our final two quantities. The final thing we're asked to do now is to plot or to sketch the oscillating circle corresponding to that point. And for that, what I'll do is let me grab this. Uh, for, one, for, for one thing, there's not enough room on here to plot it. And second of all, I will likely make a mistake and not get it right the first time. So let's, uh, OK, so there it is, this, this sketch from before. Let's, we don't need this. So let's remind ourselves uh, what the oscillating circle is. So it's a circle that's centered at a distance, the radius of curvature along the, the normal direction here, let's do it this way. We have a little chance to think. So the center will be at whatever point one is considering. In this case, it'll be r of 1. Plus, we move a distance, the radius of curvature, in the normal direction at that point. So we're, we're at this point. This is r of 1, our point in question. This will always be the, the, a point on the curve. And we're going to move a distance rho in this direction. Now, rho is, uh, has, 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 happens to have a very convenient uh, value. It's 4 root 2. And this is at a 45 degree line. Uh, so if I go over, this is this distance, if you can see, this is 4. That's a distance of 4. So I go 4 over and 4 up. That would put me right about there. And hopefully that's along the same line as the normal. So let's put it right about there. So presumably, did I line it up right? OK, that's not too bad. So that, let's see where I've drawn. This line here, this line is, is, is I move, I start at this point and I move in the direction of the normal and I move a distance, rho, or here rho is equal to 4 square root of 2. Now how do I know that's 4 square root of 2? Where it's 4 over and 4 up, so the length, that's a hypotenuse, so it's 4 square root of 2. So that's a very convenient, um, very convenient situation that I have here. And now what I have to do is, what I have to do now is swing this around in a circle without changing without changing the radius and swing around. And that will be my oscillating circle. It necessarily is tangent to the curve here. If I go row units away from the curve and then draw a circle with radius rho, it will necessarily touch the curve here. And it will just kiss the curve. That's what oscillating means. It will come around and kiss the curve there. OK? And I'm going to have a go. It's likely not to be right the first time, but here we go. Ready, set. Oh, I should have drawn four points to kind of guide my eye. Look at that. Brilliant. 
Okay, so there is the, uh, the oscillating circle uh, corresponding to that point. That completes the problem. If you do all that, you will have the problem.